So today was a very nice day, and here's me like coming back for lunch. You could tell that I was very excited about vlogging because this was my first episode, my my real episode, not the first one was like all rainy and muddy that I was able to show you guys around today. So as you can see, this is the entrance. So I wanted to start my vlog and the starting point of Mary Washington. So this is a great place to begin with, and this is where the parking lot is connected and the bell tower is. And this is the bus point where students can go outside of Mary Washington around the area. So as I continue walking back from the university, I'll be wanting to show you guys two houses that I think it's very important to know that is related to the university. So this is the Hamlet house. It used to be a dorm for guys in the 1930s, but now it's just used for like public safety and emergency management, so that's very nice. And this is the Fairfield house. This is like basically human resources right there. As you can see, it's actually pretty cool that it's related to the university. It just connected from there. So most residence halls have like an open field really. And that's where, where they host events and everything like that. Or when just students want to go ahead and play outside, they play like numerous sports and activities around the area. So it's very nice to see them, especially on a nice day. So this building right here is called Combs Hall. This is where I take Spanish class. And while I was a freshman, I also take a class called Community Self Engagement under the same building also. So you might go Combs Hall for those of you who are taking English, languages, historic preservation classes, or for those of you who are looking towards a Bachelor of Liberal Studies degree program, this is where you had to go most of the time. And yes, there's parking also with toilet enforcement, but as you can see here, that there's another open field also. So it's, it's mainly like a really nice place to like hang out really for those of you who live nearby. So basically every residence hall has like a nice feel in nearby and this is basically Jefferson Hall right here. So this is like one residence building right here. So one thing we always have around campus is the emergency stations and I really find it very unique because just by clicking on the button for the police or fire, you can just go ahead and call for help. And this is the official University of Mary Washington symbol right there. And you can see that the sign is like very big. You always drive by it every day. So basically when you go around the campus, this is like the first thing you see really. And as a vlogger myself, you know you always want to see things around. You want to have an idea about where to go, everything like that. But fortunately, you know, as much as I really want to go outside campus, I might have to save it for another time because I think that's going to be the best for last. Especially, I really want to put it on a specific time of day, so I just might as well keep it secret, really. So this is actually pretty interesting because I never thought we had something like this in UW, but this is uh, Framer Hall and it's basically for members of ILC, which is the International Living Center. So only 21 students can go there and I really am glad that we have something like that because it is pretty cool. In many areas across the campus, you gotta see a lot of steep areas. And this is one big example of it. So especially when you're about to go downhill, you expect a lot of steep hills throughout the UW journey. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the iconic bell tower. And yes, it does ring every hour. So this bell tower is dedicated towards Karma Culpepper Chappelle in which her husband actually dedicated the bell tower towards her wife after she died from breast cancer. And he donated two million dollars to build the bell tower. And unfortunately what happened was is that after it was completed in 2007, it turns out to be one of the most historical landmarks of the iconic bell tower. And you can see this is a quote from the garden and that's dedicated towards him from John Chappelle also, which is incredible. So this right here is called George Washington Hall. This is the president's office and administrations. And if you're into like information technology or finance or even administrations itself, then you might go to this building. This is another residence hall called Madison Hall. And I, if I remember clearly, it's actually not as bad as many people turn it out to be. The only thing about it is that it's small, but other than that, it's not really bad, really. 
So remember when I said that I really enjoyed the ball field and everything like that? Well, right now, this is construction work for the ballpark, which is the biggest field where they host so many events and activities and clubs for all of this. Well, sadly, we're not going to be able to see the ballpark again until next year. And just to give you a sneak peek for next vlog, I'm going to go inside Lee Hall and show you the bookstore.